In this video lesson, you're going to learn about sharp and flat notes. First, we'll start with a quick reminder of the notes you've already learnt that we use in music. Here's a picture of a piano keyboard. You've probably already learnt the names of the white notes on the piano. Just as a reminder, we've got C here. The C in the middle of the piano is called middle C. Then we continue up in alphabetical order. D, E, F, G. Now remember, once you've got to G, we go back to the start of the alphabet. So next we have A, then B, and then we have another C. This is the start of our next octave, which means another set of eight white keys. So in this octave, these are the notes. Now, these are the notes on a piano, but do you remember how these look on sheet music? Let's look at treble clef. This is the one you would normally play with your right hand on a piano. You've got middle C at the bottom, then the notes get higher in alphabetical order, just like they do on the piano. With bass clef, middle C is at the top, the highest note you can see on there, and then the notes go down in backwards alphabetical order, just like if you sit at a piano and play notes one after the other getting lower and lower. So, we've talked about the white keys and how they look on sheet music, but what are the black keys on a piano called? They can either be a sharp note or a flat note. This is the symbol for sharp and this is the symbol for flat. Let's look at the note G as an example. The black note, which is just higher than G, is called G sharp. The black note slightly lower than G is called G flat. Now let's look at the note A. The black note just above A is called A sharp. But what about the black note below A? We've already said this is called G sharp. But it has another name too, A flat. So above A is A sharp and below A is A flat. Every black note on a piano has two names, something sharp and something flat. Later on you'll learn about when to use which name, but for now focus on remembering that sharp is above the white note and flat is below the white note. If you look at your worksheet that goes with this video, you'll see some fun activities you can do to practice this. So, how are sharps and flats shown on sheet music? The answer is we use symbols I mentioned before on the left hand side of the note. Remember the hashtag symbol means sharp and the symbol that looks a bit like a B means flat. So here for example we can see the note A in bass clef, then next to it is A sharp, then there is A flat. This is what each note sounds like. A, A sharp, A flat. Now, in this example, we can see G in the treble clef. Then next to it is G sharp, and then we have G flat. This is what each note sounds like. G, G sharp, G flat. Now for both of these, imagine that you're at a piano going up the notes on the piano. So you play A flat, A, A sharp. Or you play G flat, G, G sharp. Let's hear what they sound like. Here is A flat, A, A sharp. And now here is G flat, G, G sharp. We've now reached the end of this video about sharps and flats. This is what we've covered. A reminder of the white notes on a piano and how they look on sheet music in both the treble clef and the bass clef. 
Then we've talked about the black keys on the piano, which are sharp and flat notes. We've covered how to work out what the sharp or flat note is on a piano, whether it's above or below the white note, and also how sharp and flat notes are shown on sheet music. Remember to look at the worksheet for some activities on what you've learnt today. Thank you for watching!